hours left of my book. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I am in the middle slash, I guess more closely to the end of a very fascinating book called The Transition Baby. I heard um, some people talk about this book, um, but I originally thought it was a nonfiction book about the topic of detransitioning, but it is a novel um, and I really am enjoying it. It is very different from my own experiences and perspectives. One of my goals for this year is to read 100 books. Last year I read over 80 books um, and that wasn't really without trying, so I figure if I did a little bit of you know, tracking and keeping with it, I could totally easily do a hundred. I flew back from Tampa this weekend and had a really relaxing weekend. I spent a lot of time over the past couple days traveling, just kind of ruining my sleep. We took a red eye. I think I slept for like an hour or two on that flight out to Florida. And then uh, we just kind of hit the ground running, started doing some things, saw the manatees, all that stuff. You can check that out in uh, that vlog that should already be out. We went out uh, the night before our early morning flight, so didn't really get much sleep on the night before or on that flight as well. So kind of had a relaxing rest of the weekend while I was here, uh, but that means that I have a lot of things that I want to get done. So with that, I'm going to unpack and start making my house functional and organized again. <laughs> set up the beer cart. Brittany moved and was getting rid of the beer cart, the bar cart, not a beer cart, the bar cart. And so I bought it off for her and I love it so much. I'm actually really surprised that everything fits um, really nicely and it's a little cluttered, but hopefully that just means that I'll need to cook with more of the wines or serve some fun cocktails. Um, so now that I see it out here, maybe I'll be more tempted and prompted to use it and it definitely opened up some space in my other cabinet. So I'm really excited for that. My only concern is that it is in front of a window. So especially during the summer, I don't want it to like heat up, but in that time I can just move it kind of behind my couch over there. I think that'll look cute. That's where I had it before as well. Well. Um, or if we turn on the heater I'll have to move it as well. I have some mixers and some little minis. This we got from the airport in Phoenix. It's prickly pear cactus syrup and I've made this before in margaritas and it is so good. This is some fancy Irish whiskey. I don't know if it's fancy it's just something I found at my grandma's house. Um, a couple cups. This cup. <laughs> This lovely cup was from a brewery in Canada when Brittany and I went on one of our road trips up there. And then we have all the liquor, red wines up here, and then white wines that are accessible. That way I can chuck them into the fridge. But yeah, then the reds are good to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some wine glasses. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so happy. The only thing that I think it's missing is I think it needs some like twinkle lights or some sort of lights. I've, I'm already kind of sad taking down a lot of the lights. Um, it really does add like a magical element. I have another pair of lights that I think I'm gonna put in the kitchen. I think I'm gonna have that up all year round of just like the green string white lights. I think that looks really cute, especially in the morning when it doesn't really get bright until like nine o'clock. I don't think I'll be taking the Christmas tree 
today I'm running out of steam and that's gonna be the hardest for me because I just love the way it looks uh, makes it so wonderful but yeah I think I do want to incorporate more string lights and lights around the house especially since like I said it's just super dark here so I might order a little bit of those thin string lights for the bar cart that might be super cute but um yeah, no, I'm really happy with the progress I've made today. Um, a lot of the Christmas stuff is packed, like I said, except for the tree. Welcome to today's side quest. <laughs> I have two reeds in here. Who knows how old they are? The real problem is, is are, are they used? I don't think so, they look fresh. Oh yeah, they're fresh. I don't know if I've ever shared this about me or if it has just kind of seeped into the vlogs naturally because it is a huge aspect of my life. Just how much I hate spit. I don't know how I did all this woodwork, woodwind stuff. You have to suck on the reeds to like get them ready to vibrate and play. I, I, I don't know how I dealt with all of this spit stuff. Ugh. So today I did go ahead and get some video and photo editing done and a couple other things. But my friend Justin, okay, so when we went to the White Elephant party a couple weeks ago, it was with this group of musicians. A bunch of them were in a band, a bunch of them were friends in a different band. So there was a lot of musicians and um, one of the White Elephant gifts was a really beautiful acoustic guitar and then there was a full ass clarinet. Oh my God, I'm so sad. That clarinet was beautiful. So my friend Justin was like, this is so cool, all of this stuff. And I told him, you know, I used to play saxophone in school, like, and some other instruments, but yeah, saxophone is definitely my thing. He went and he's now renting a saxophone. And so he's like, bring yours over, let's play. So yeah, I, I learned saxophone in middle school and high school. It was my thing. I loved jazz club, all of that stuff. So I still have it and, but I, I probably haven't played this in like 10 years. I really need a neck strap. And the other issue is, um, what is this called? There's a there's a fancy name for it, but the um, it's to keep the air from coming out. Uh, it it helps with changing octaves. But I I know mine broke a while ago, so I <laughs> I still have the little fix. Oh goodness. So it's like a wad of paper. Let me take the, this poor baby. She old. Hopefully that will work. Yeah. Honky tonk, that was the wrong embouchure. Yeah. It's loose, that should be a much deeper note. Oh man, I really hope this will work. I can probably just get like a regular rubber band. Ooh, or you know what? This hair tie is ancient and has no elasticity. We live in the future! Where I could probably spend a little money to get it fixed, but. Oh, that is a proper rubber band, hell yeah. Oh my God, protect the reed. I can't wait to explain this tomfoolery to Justin. <laughs> I'll ask where he bought his and then uh, maybe I can get mine fixed. I do think this year I do want to add more music into my life, like either joining a choir. I know we've talked about karaoke a lot. Still wanna kinda do a lot of karaoke, but yeah, I, I really, music was such a big part of my life, uh, especially in like my teenage and early 20s. And it's just kind of something that has slipped away and been replaced with listening to podcasts, audiobooks, hiking, working on video projects. So it's just not something that I've followed through, but all right, let's see if that worked. Disgusting. <laughs> Thank you. 
I do not have the lungs like I used to. You know, okay, so that's right. The more you play it, you actually do warm up the instrument. Um, so hopefully I'll get adjustments and like, cause I can physically, disgusting. If I think I have to spit too much, I'm gonna lose it. But it, <laughs> I can physically feel it warming up here. I wonder if I have other leaks. I think I remember a leak occurring. I really should get this to the shop and see, cause I think it's really just pads. A lot of them seem pretty good, but Maybe not. We'll have to ask Justin how old his saxophone is um, and what information he has on it. And like I said, I really should be playing it on the side like this. Honky. What songs do I remember from? Like I know my scales, but I'm like, what music do I remember? wants to play scales or something because I am I was almost gonna say rusty as a trombone but that's <laughs> that is something else let's go to Justin's let's let's whip out our saxophones and <laughs> let's go to Justin's <laughs> it looks so good and you're oh. practicing your scales yeah so the typical scale is the D to D but the thing I'm, they're watching he was saying you know what you should really do is start as low as you can uh -huh. you start you start the D, you go all the way up, but you go as high as you can play. Then you go as low as you can play, and then you bring it back to the D. Oh. He's like, practice more. Like, don't just stick huh. to one scale. But I'm going to go the oh, opposite. embouchure. So we'll start with this one. You know Hell yeah. The new technique. <laughs> Oh, B A G. Okay, I got it. Yeah. No, definitely not that. Yeah, it says it's a B flat, but you and I sound the same. Yeah. Okay. B A G. I got it. Yeah, I was like, I knew, I knew the top one or the bottom one was a G. Once you learn scales, we could jam like a jazz band. And then Dustin can just play chords and we can fuck over all. Oh yeah, exactly. You're so these, are all the, these are the different buttons. There's four. Yeah, yeah. There's four so, different. So uh, left hand, right hand. Oh. And uh, pinky. Pinkies. And it's hard to go. It's hard. Through. But if I go from a C to a high D, it's not as bad. You know, like a. I played trumpet for a little while. There was no uh, oh, wow. Disgusting. The, the acoustic is just so sweet, and then over here we're honking. So I just do that. Well, he's the fucking Ringo. He just he's, he already knows what he's doing, <laughs> and we're just here in, in Germany going like, I don't want the fucking end of this instrument to play. <laughs> Started going too high up again. My problem is I'm out of habit. I'll go up to the D, high D, right we end on high D, and then we go back down. Yeah. Okay, okay. My, now we got it. Start on D and on D. My tongue was blocked the hole. <laughs> That's what she said.
the five. Okay. So now each one of these, the D, you know, we just talked about the notes. Part. One, three, five. Now the one, three, five of G is uh, G, B, and D. Yep, yep, I can see it. And now I'm really glad I wrote all the scales inside. I felt like this was a good waste of time doing it, but now no, I, can, yeah. I can jump through. Oh, I see, yeah, you got them all. Thursday I got a manicure today just something simple but I whip it out the camera because I got my photos back I have like two bags of these things so back in a couple weekly vlogs ago before Thanksgiving I dropped off some disposable cameras that I found in a random box and I have no idea what's on these or in these camera rolls so I'm really really excited this initial one is disappointing so they're kind of like really grainy and not too exciting i can tell that they are of my the house that we built in arizona i'm gonna just kind of go through these real quick and see if i like get rid of some of them the next step will be to scan the keepers yeah these really look messed up i'm annoyed i paid for this i could definitely see an alien coming to mess with you in that picture hopefully it's just this one it was just this roll maybe it was degraded like i know what this is this is quail on top of a rooftop but <laughs> i'll keep it why not and then there's me and some friends at in and out but again it's so grainy and the color is blown this pack was 13 dollars <laughs> my cousin's wedding Looking wild. But here's me as a pirate. They all can't be like this. This. Me in a sublime shirt. They're all like psychedelic looking. We're in like a town and then there's just donkeys. Route 66. Oh, I would really like. A good copy of this picture that's me and my mom are at 66 in and out but that's a keeper I'll put that somewhere nice so these uh, these cameras were you know they must be about 10 years old looking at these these look like early high school for me so that's you know 2008 2007 like we're building the house I'm like so sad I'm so sad A lot of them are just so dark. Oh, little Isaac. A little pup on a couch. But yeah, you can just see how purple and green and dark they are. I... <laughs> Why was this $8 and there's not even... There's two pictures? What? There's one picture in this. I need to take a look at this because, yeah, this doesn't make sense. This is gonna be a little project I have to deal with. New project, new task, acquired to my already never ending to-do list. <sighs> Happy Friday, y'all. So even though it is January, the sun is out. And so being a Seattleite, that is a thing to celebrate. I'm gonna go ahead and do a very hydrating morning skincare routine to get ready to go outside because my husband and I are gonna go on a cute little picnic. There's this park in the U District by the, or the, the two bays that are right there, I get mixed up, Union Bay and Portage Bay. I think it's the Portage Bay side. Doesn't matter, it's by the University Bridge. But they have these like really vibrant looking tables. Like I've seen it when I've driven by it a couple times. He has a more lighter work day today. So we figured we'd head to the U District, pick up some banh mi sandwiches uh, from one of the Vietnamese places on the Ave and just kind of have like an outdoor picnic lunch. 
hopefully it's not too cold. Since I'm really trying to focus on hydration, I went in with my Good Molecules Peptide Serum and the Snail Mucin Blemish Toner from Peach Slices. So yeah, I think we're gonna take a bus, head to the U District, grab some lunch, and then go to a park and enjoy the sunset. Nope, enjoy the sun. It's, it's too early for sunset, even in January. very brown from this angle, but I assure you there's veggies up there. <laughs> 